Hello everyone, I'm Jim Durrett, Mayor of Montgomery County, and I'm here with uh, Director of Athletics at Austin Peay State University, Gerald Harrison. Gerald, how are you today? I'm doing great. Excited to be here with you. Man, what about the Govs? Is it, can you get any better than this? No, I man. Mean, it's it's just, been an awesome year. It's so awesome. And I, I know you hadn't been at Austin Peay that long. Coach <laughs> Hud's your first hire. So tell me a little bit about how long you've been here and about Coach Hud. I got here in August of... Uh, August of 2018, and then by December 2018, I had to hire a football coach. And so I really wasn't here very long, and uh, I was selling him on a uh, vision of what I saw was going on around Clarksville and Montgomery County and the university and said, hey, come be a part of this. We're about to win a championship, and you're the guy to get us there. I must be a genius. I'm kidding. You must be. You must be. <laughs> that is so awesome. And really, this is – I mean, it's really historic. Uh, I think the last time the Govs – either shared or were part of OVC championship was in 1977? No, yeah, 1977, the last time we've done that. We've never been in the FCS playoffs. Uh, so this is a this is uncharted territory for us. Most wins in school history right now at 10, uh, going for 11 this weekend. So we're making history every day right now. So Furman comes into town last Saturday. AD's got to deal with two, two <laughs> lightning delays. <laughs> And the Govs just put a whooping on them. And I loved every bit of it. I told them we can have rain and lightning in every game as long as we get the same result. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of work to get everything ready and get us going. But once the kids stayed focused the whole time, and I got to give a lot of credit to Coach Hud. He told them all week that was going to happen. He said, guys, there's going to be some ebbs and flows. There may be a delay because we, we understood the weather was coming. And they bought into it and didn't change. And they were aggressive the whole way. And you're right. We put we we sent those boys back to Greenville pretty unhappy. Yeah, and so Coach Hudspis, we call him Coach Hud. That's yeah. what everybody calls him. OVC Coach of the Year. And then you had how many kids were all OVC? We had seven players that made the first team all OVC, which is another record uh, in history for uh, Austin P. Uh, led by our quarterback uh, Javon Craig, who was the uh, first team quarterback. Uh, we had players all over the place, and that was really exciting to see these student athletes succeed. That is so awesome. So let's talk about this coming Saturday, Sacramento State, Sacramento, California. The Govs are getting on a bird. They're going <laughs> to the West Coast, and they're going to whoop some people, ain't they? Yeah, we're going over there. We're going to take it to them over in Sacramento. Our players are so excited uh, to get on the plane. Uh, many of them have not been on a plane before and definitely haven't been one a charter flight. So once the game was over, they talked to us about that a lot, about just getting on the plane and going to California. Uh, but – Sacramento State's a very good team, the fourth seed, but our kids are playing really well right now and really excited. So I know it'll be a great game, and we're going to bring another win back to Clarksville. That's so awesome. And I, I just the experience for the student athlete, Gerald, to go through this playoff scenario, FCS, we play, I guess the first round was the round of 16. Now mm -hmm. we're in the quarterfinals. If we can win this coming Saturday, then we're in the semifinals. And so it, it's just, it's got to be such an amazing experience for the student athlete. Well, it's a great opportunity to get to the, uh, to have a national uh, presence and to be on a national stage. We talked about that very early uh, when we got here that Austin P deserved to be on a national stage. And football is a sport that can get you there really quickly. Uh, we're finding out great numbers on how many views and things, and people are watching our student athletes compete and learning about our school and where we're from. And that's you you can't you can't put a price tag on that. Uh, and our and our student athletes love it. They got more pictures of themselves than ever now. Well, you know, being selfish too, uh, I know it does a lot for the university, but it sure does a lot for Montgomery County too. I mean, it really brings a the national spotlight to our community last weekend and it'll be the same thing this weekend because they're going to be talking about where Austin P's from and after we beat Sacramento State they'll be talking about us more and more. Exactly there's probably a lot of people in the state of California who have no clue uh, where Austin P State University is currently is located and they will uh, come Saturday and they are googling it and they're looking it up they're trying to find out where it is Austin P is not in Texas it's in Clarksville, Tennessee, and in Montgomery County. And by the time we finish this playoff run, I think the majority of people who follow college football will know that. That's so awesome. So let's talk about the where and how. Mm -hmm. So we know, it's in, we know it's in Sacramento. We know that not everybody from Montgomery County can hop on a plane or a bus and get out there. I understand so, that, yeah. so, so how can people watch the game? The game's going to be available on ESPN3, uh, which is a streaming service that most people uh, have access to now. And you can also uh, watch it in local restaurants and bars and places like that around the, uh, 
around the county. Uh, we're really excited. We've heard from numerous businesses that say, hey, we want to do a watch party in our in our bar, our restaurant, and we're encouraging everyone in Clarksburg to support Montgomery County businesses and go out and see the Govs play and compete for a national championship uh, in any location around the county. Man, I got chill bumps. That's I exciting got, to say That it. is so awesome, man. It so is exciting awesome. to say it. And so, so Gerald, so ESPN3, mm-hmm. 8 o'clock Central, right? Right. That's- and so if people want to go out and have them a nice meal somewhere, all the local restaurants, all the local drinking establishments, all those places, they'll be having, they'll have the game on. And so you can go in, wear your Govs gear, wear your and Govs cheer gear. on the Govs. We always say fly to Gov, and that's what we want everyone to do. Uh, if you want to support this team, we want people on Friday and, and Saturday to have every bit of Austin Peay gear they can have. Wear red on Fridays, uh, put your shirt on or your hat on uh, on Saturday. Let everybody know that this county, and this, uh, this area, is supporting their football team. And we, I love it when people tweet about it and show pictures because I show them to our coaches and our student athletes and they get really excited. So it's going to be a great opportunity. Well, we have challenged all of Montgomery County employees to wear their Govs gear on Friday. I love so hopefully it. we'll be sending y'all a good picture of a lot of county employees in Govs gear. Well, I have one more question for you before we go. Mm-hmm. So are y'all doing anything, any kind of send off or anything like that for the team? Absolutely. Uh, Friday at 1030 a.m., uh, for Terra Stadium, that's where the buses will load, and uh, the Foy parking lot will be open for anybody who wants to come. The team will load the buses. Uh, we'll have the, the cheer squad will be out there just to give a good, warm welcome, uh, give a warm departure uh, to our team when we get back and help them uh, have a memory uh, that they can think about all the folks that came out cheering for them and saying, let's go pee. So 1030 this Friday. Terra Stadium, Mm -hmm. send off for the Govs. Absolutely. All right. So fly the Gov. Fly the Gov. And my favorite saying of all, let's go pee. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gerald.